Hey guys, so I finally got my Kaza Ziena lenses fixed. The MC series, which is around from the 80s, and the Silver series, which is a 50-60 series, uh, from 50s and 60s. All them PL mounted, and obviously converted and everything. Working pretty fine, uh, except if it's a little bit cold now, more to that later, but um, Working smooth and nicely, at least the MC series. The Silver series have a little bit of a problem, but uh, I will let you know. So here's some footage from it and enjoy. It was around minus 18 Celsius and my face was burned a couple years ago, thus the purple in my face. The multi-coating has a little bit of a magenta shift to it. Uh, you can compensate that by grading the image a little bit warmer. The IRD filter from Firecrest that I'm using is supposed to be relatively neutral, but they might also contribute uh, since I usually have six stops of ND. So here we're going through a little bit of a ramping. Uh, interestingly enough, I will explain it later again. The grease used is relatively easy flowing, but the colder it is, the more problems you have. Um, the MC lenses are also all really solidly built you still have a little bit of tolerance issues they are vintage lenses so that usually happens at least in my case they are not all like going the same way as the other um, but the silver ones are actually the bigger issue um, because they're so small they're all like you know solidly built but as soon as it's getting cold like this um, they are rather useless to actually focus uh, when I tried to focus them, I had to really do like short bursts because I couldn't really rotate the, the wheel at all. And that's it's just um, a problem. But as soon as it uh, is about, you know, room temperature around-ish, they are really, really nice and work really, really easy. In terms of coverage, as you have seen, the, the 20 millimeter has vignetting. Uh, it is actually more pronounced the more you actually grade the footage, but other than that, it is, works quite well uh, for full frame. You can also see a little bit the difference in color colors, but they are actually marginal in terms of uh, actually being able to cut between them. It's obviously like silver to MC, there is a little bit of a different look in terms of aberrations and uh, rendering, the same with the bokeh. Um, but the silver versions for me in particular are, you know, self-sustained. You can't really mix them unless you're going for a particular look for one scene or another. The lenses in general are really sharp wide open. I usually in the grade, I sharpen them up a little bit more to give it a little bit more of an edge, but otherwise they work really, really nicely. Flaring is minimal especially in the flectagons. The Pancolas have a little bit more character to them. Obviously the flare pattern itself is something you either like it or you hate it, but the Pancolas 
obviously have a little bit more flaring. Unfortunately, uh, I focused the infinity, I hit the infinity on the pancolas, not entirely, because uh, they are not uh, properly aligned. Uh, the silver ones flare a little bit more pronounced, uh, even though they are single coating, they actually don't flare that much as I would have liked to. Uh, the bite are obviously more than the flectagon itself. Now to the fun part, though there are Zeiss lenses, so you will see Ninja Star Bokeh. There is no way around it, you will start it as soon as you, as soon as you start um, stopping down, you will have uh, Ninja Star pattern on all the lenses that I have. And yes, it doesn't matter if it's the Biotar lens with 11 blades, the Flectagon Silver with 9 blades or the whole MC series with 6 blades. You will have that problem regardless, unfortunately. Gotta apologize though that I didn't do this test in particular a little bit more accurate in terms of like having the same movement all, all the time. Uh, that was unfortunately a miss by me uh, going a focus ramp and then going an iris ramp as well to just showcase uh, the different um, the differences between them so that was a miss So now the fun part, the MC lenses um, have two different designs. The 20 millimeter, since it is, has quite a big front, um, has a little bit more of a thicker body, still having an 80 millimeter front diameter. And as you can see, it runs super smooth, uh, a little bit over 300 degrees and um, the iris also moves really smoothly, PL mount. The 35, 50 and the 80 millimeter uh, all have the same body uh, with about the same focus throw. And obviously the aperture differs a little bit. Uh, the Flectagon, the 35 millimeter is a 2.4 and then uh, the two uh, other ones um, have the 1.8 millimeter, uh, f1.8. The silver versions pretty much look the same, both of the ones that I have, the 35 and the 58. Uh, they actually have the iris in the front, as one does in the old times. Um, focus throw is fairly long as well, something around 300-ish. Uh, the only downside is, as you can see, this one moves fairly stiff. That is because it's an all uh, metal body and in the cold it uh, just shrinks up and the grease doesn't really help either. So it moves very, very uh, stiffly. This is actually, now it's, it starts to get warmer inside here. So it starts to loosen up a little bit, but it runs stiff as fuck. Uh, when it's like minus 10, minus 15 degrees and further down Celsius. Um, also, as you can see, the flange distance is super, super shallow. So uh, that means uh, the PL mount is really like grinded into, <laughs> into the body, which uh, basically means like if you put it on, uh, there is not much space between the uh, PL mount itself and the focus ring. It works, but uh, be aware that could be an issue. Obviously, when focus throwing, all of them extend out in different scales, depending a little bit on the lens and whatnot and how long. But otherwise, um, this is the 35 millimeter f2.8 and then the 58 is a 2. Um, I really love those lenses. I'm shooting on it right now with a 58. And a little bit of goofing around here, I just wanted to 
ramp a little bit around, uh, see the close focus on the lens itself. Since I really like them in terms of uh, close focus, uh, it's not so common in uh, the majority of lenses that you actually can get like you know 19 centimeters close to the lens. It doesn't happen that often, so that's why I really love them. I usually tend to um, shoot less than 16 by 9. I usually prefer uh, 235 or 239 as an aspect ratio because the majority of times that I shoot something it is more scope uh, you know landscape wise so I really like how uh, the image is rendered uh, for that matter so that's why I really like those lenses and um, why they are PL mounted is relatively simple um, the adapters are a pain in the fucking ass. They're really annoying. I I hate to I hated the L to M forty uh, two screw on adapter. It was really annoying uh, to work with. Uh, there was always play in it, especially when he started focus ramping. Uh, there was always a little bit of a wiggle in there, and uh, I didn't want it to have it because the majority of times I put my um, you know, to put the camera in a in a backpack or whatever, or put it in a dog sled or what have you. And yes, it's fairly secure, but it's also not really. So the chance that actually something gets destroyed is relatively high. So that's why I opted for PL. And I was really happy to find um, some people in the US who had it, uh, PL converted. And then I asked like, oh, okay, how did he do it? And then uh, got the lenses to Hungary and off I went. So I'm really happy with the result now. Uh, they work really well. Uh, I don't do as much as I would like to with them, uh, unfortunately, but hopefully I'm gonna do a little bit more soon. So that's gonna be fun.